moving your uh, legs around with the towels underneath your feet. So, right on mute there. <clears throat> you wanna have a little bit of space out ahead of you to do this type of thing. Um, you don't have to have your mat oriented in the same way as me because I'm not gonna have my whole body on there, which is fine with me. Um, and you guys don't have to do these in a curl. There's still plenty of core work if you just do the leg movements while you're lying on your back. All right, I'm like hesitantly oh, coming into this position. So we'll just do some regular ab curls first to warm up the abs. So start with your feet about hip joint distance apart, your knees bent with your feet underneath the knees. On your next exhale, curl up, inhale lower. Exhale, curl, inhale lower. Exhale, curl, inhale lower. Exhale, curl, inhale lower. Four more, and lower, three, lower, two, lower, last one, lower down. And then option to curl up and hold your curl for a little single leg movement. Next exhale, curl up or just brace the core. Little breath in here. Exhale, reach your left leg out any amount that's comfortable. Inhale, slide it in. Exhale, reach the right leg out. Inhale, slide it in. Let's keep alternating like that. So only move your leg out the amount that's comfortable for your back. You don't want to feel like it's pulling your back into a more arched position. Exhale to slide out. Inhale to pull in. Exhale to slide out. Inhale to pull in. One more time each way. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Whew, lower down. Those are tough. All right. We'll try that with both legs. For me personally, when I move both legs, I do not go as far because once they start to get past a certain point, I can't keep my spine in the same shape. It starts to arch a little more. So just go to a point that's comfortable for your body and you're maintaining the same position of your spine and hips. Next, exhale, curl up. Hold your curl. Little breath in. Exhale, reach your legs out. Inhale, pull them in. Exhale, reach them out. Inhale, pull them in. Three, pull them in. Two, pull them in. And one, pull them in, Whew, lower down. All right, we'll be moving just your left leg side to side with your leg as straight as comfortable next. So again, next exhale, option to come into your curl. Hold the curl, everyone will reach the left leg out, keep everything else still, open your leg to the left a little, slide it back in. Open to the left a little, keep it straight, bring it back under you. Open a little and in twice more. Open a little in one more time. Open a little, bring it in, then bend your knee, place that left foot back on the floor. All right, other side. Next exhale, option to curl. Hold the curl, little breath in. Exhale, reach the right leg straight out. Open a few inches, pull it to center. Open a few inches, pull it to center. We've got three, center two, center, one, center, bring that leg in, lower out of your curl. Whew. Nice work, guys. All right, one last thing here. We're going to do just like some faster leg movements, what kind of like little piston legs. Next exhale, option to come into your curl again. And then you're going to reach one leg out, switch. So as you pull one leg in, you're reaching the other leg out. Trying to maintain all the stability of your spine and pelvis. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in for three, two, and one. Oh, Whew. bring it in, lower down. Whew. Oh boy. All right, one more thing here. I think I said one more thing, but I was lying. We have one more. <laughs> My mom's just sitting there cleaning the floor, just making little circles with her legs. That actually looks like fun. All right, so next exhale, option to come back into your curl. Hold your curl, reach your left leg as straight as comfortable, and then right leg straight as comfortable. So both legs are as straight as comfortable. Open them into a V, pull them together. Open V, pull them together. Open V, pull together. Open V, pull together. Two more. Last one. 
whew, lower down, bend your knees and oh, nice job guys. I'm gonna move the uh, towels out from underneath my feet. Bend your knees, walk your feet about as wide as your shoulders. And we'll take a windshield wiper twist. So just drop both knees to the right. You can do arms in a T or little cactus arms for a chest stretch. <sighs> On your next inhale, you can bring your legs back to center. Next exhale, sway them left or whatever side you didn't do last time. Just letting both shoulder blades rest on or closest to the floor is comfortable. Pull in a stretch on the side in front of your top hip. And then next inhale, bring your legs back up to center. Oh, all right, let's grab those towels for underneath your feet again. You can stay in the same position. We're gonna do a little bridging. So towels underneath feet with your legs, hip joint distance apart, feet about underneath your knees. And we'll do an articulating bridge. So as you exhale next, you'll start to imprint your spine and you're gonna articulate your hips and then your spine up into a bridge, one vertebrae at a time. Take a little sip of air at the top, exhale, roll down, using the low belly to articulate your spine down and then hips at the end. Again, exhale, imprint your spine, hugging tummy flat to the floor as you start to peel your hips and then your spine away from the floor. Little breath in at the top, exhale to roll down, scooping the belly in and rolling down. Let's do three more like that. Exhale to roll up. I'm sitting these out. <laughs> A little sip of air at the top. Exhale to roll down. Again, exhale to roll up. Little sip of air at the top. Exhale to roll down. Again, exhale to come up, press into the heels. A little sip of air at the top and exhale to lower. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of leg movement. Next exhale, come into your bridge. You'll hold your bridge still, reach your left leg out, any amount, pull it in. Reach your right leg out, any amount, pull it in. Left leg out, any amount, pull it in. Right leg out, any amount, pull it in. Two, two, one, and one. Bring it in. Whew, come down. I know those burns so hard, right? Oh. All right, a little lateral movement. <clears throat> so it starts the same. You'll reach one leg away from your butt a little bit, and then you're going to slide it to the side a little, and then you'll bring it back to center. Slide it side and then center. All right. A little breath in, exhale, come up, hold your bridge, reach your right leg out a couple inches, slide it right a little, back to center, right a little, and center, three, center, two, center, one, center, pull that right leg back and underneath you, other side, left leg out a little, slide it left a little, and center, left a little, and center, left a little, and center, left a little and center one more time center bring your foot in oh, lower out of your bridge high five guys nice work let's give knees a little hug into chest or armpits whatever feels best you can rock your legs side to side or do little circles with the legs oh. hmm. then we'll take a hamstring stretch and straighten one leg up to the ceiling. Make your knee as straight as you can. You can always drop your leg down as much as you need to to do that. And you can grab behind your thigh or your calf to give it a little hug back if you'd like a deeper stretch. <sighs> Some deep breaths. I feel like my hamstrings have gotten so tight from sitting more. Mm, one more breath. And then we'll switch. Oh. Other leg up. Oh, straighten that knee out. 
as much as you can, reach your heel to the ceiling. Let's take a couple more deep breaths here. <sighs> Bend that leg back in. You guys can roll to one side or rock head to tail to come up from there. Sorry, I gotta take another little water break. Okay, so much better, thanks. Okay, let's do a little bit of um, standing work. So I'm gonna move my mat out of the way a little bit. You wanna have space to move um, front to back and side to side. Um, you can, oh, obviously if you're a little tight on space, you can obviously do, you know, front to back and then just switch, right? So you have the same kind of alleyway of space. Oh. Okay, so you've got your towels under your feet. I've got my feet a little closer to the edges of the towels so that I can start with my feet about hip joint distance apart. And we'll start with a little bit of lunging. <clears throat> we'll alternate legs. So you're gonna bend into your left leg, slide the right leg back, and then pull it back in. Bend into the right leg, slide the left leg back, pull it in, bend and slide. Pull it in, alternating other side, and pull it in. Keep going like that. So I'm doing this more upright variation where I bend my back knee so that I'm keeping my hips and spine in the same relationship as they are when I'm standing. Alternately, you can do a little of this, hinging forward, sliding your straight leg back. Hinging forward, sliding your back leg straight back. You can try them both and pick which is best for you. When I keep my back leg straight, I hinge my body forward a little so that again, spine and hips stay neutral. And you're not arching the back. Slide it back, pull it in. Slide it back, pull it in. One more each way. Slide it back and in, and slide it back and in. All right, we're all gonna do that back leg straight variation, and then we'll do some mountain climbers, the upright mountain climbers, not the ones in a plank, but we might do those later. So. Bend, let's all bend your right leg and you'll slide the left leg straight back, hinging forward. Keep your hips still, pull the left knee in, press it out. Pull it in, press it out. In and out, in and out. We've got four, back, three, back, two, back, and one, back. Pull it in and stand up. Other side. Bending into left knee, slide the right leg straight back, pull right knee in, press it out, pull it in, press it out, in and out, in and out, in and out. We've got three and back, two, back, one, back, hinge on up, bring it in. Nice job, guys. All right, a little bit of side to side lunging or lateral lunging. I'm just reorienting my towels so that they feel a little more even under my feet. So we'll keep your weight over your bending leg. You're gonna slide your straight leg straight out to the side. So let's start bending into the left leg, slide the right leg straight out to the side, pull it in, let's alternate. Bend the left leg, slide the right leg straight out, pull it in. Left leg out, right leg out I mean. Left leg out and in. Right leg out and in, left leg out and in. Try to keep your body just moving directly up and down in space. Right leg out, pull it in, left leg out, pull it in, right leg out, pull it in, left leg out, pull it in, right leg in, left leg in, one more time. Left, right leg and in. Lost track of my sides a little bit there. All right, we're gonna do um, sideways mountain climbers or they're like a half speed skater on the reformer. I don't know what they're called. So let's bend into your left leg, right leg straight out. You're gonna hold that side lunge position, bend your right leg in, press it out, 
bend the right leg in, press it out. Don't move the rest of your body, just that right leg. We've got four, three, two, one. Bring it in, stand up. All right, other side. Bend into the right leg, left leg straight out. Pull it in, press it out. Pull it in, press it out. Keep your body stacked in the same position. We've got four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, stand up tall. Whew, give your legs a little shake out. Those are burners. Okay, we're gonna try this next one. It's another variation on the side to side lunging. If it bothers your knees, mom, <laughs> um, then you can go back to this one, the out and in like that. So now I'm gonna press a little more. We'll call this right leg my stationary leg. So I'm gonna press with that, slide my left leg out to a side lunge, pull back into center. Slide the right leg out as you bend it, pull back to center. You might wanna keep them a little smaller. Oh, pulling with both legs. <laughs> Oh, pull it in. Side lunge, pull it in. Other side lunge, pull it. Let's do twice more each way. And other side. And in one more time. Side lunge, and in. Other side lunge, pull it in. I know I kind of lost on that last time. And I realized I was doing like T Rex hands, T Rex arms the whole time, which is not very graceful Pilates, but hey, whatever. Okay. Back to the forward backward movement where we'll, we'll do a kind of a step through back and front lunge. So it looks like this. You do a back lunge, you come up, and then same leg does a front lunge, and then you pull it up. All right, so I'm moving my left leg. I'm sliding my left leg into a back lunge. I pull it in. Now I move my left leg forward into a front lunge, pull it in. Let's switch legs now. So right leg back, pull it in right leg forward, pull it in, left leg back, pull it in, left leg forward, pull it in, right leg back, pull it in, right leg forward, pull it in, left leg back, pull it in, left leg forward, pull it in, one more time, right leg back, pull it in, right leg forward, pull it in. Whew. All right, let's give your legs a little shake out. We must be like kicking up some dust in here because like a sneeze is coming on. My mom's doing it on the other side of the camera. It is, yeah, dog hair. Um, all right, let's take a figure four stretch. <clears throat> so you guys can lay on your back if that's comfortable and do right legs like this. You'll flex one foot, cross it over the opposite thigh. You can press your thigh away there or you could do a little thread the needle, pulling it in like so, grabbing behind that non-stretching thigh. You guys are just going to hold it there for a few breaths while I grab some water and try not to sneeze. <clears throat> All right, guys, switch legs. I, I drink my entire water bottle, so I'll be right back and I'm going to do my best to keep you guys stretching the same amount of time on each side. Okay, you guys can come on up from there and let's do a little bit of core work. How do I want to move this guy? So you want to have space behind your mat. So you'll have your hands on the mat and you'll have your feet on your towels. And we'll start in a ugh, hands and knees tabletop position. So you'll have your shoulders over the creases of your wrists and you'll keep them there. And kind of like we started, you'll just slide your left leg back and then slide your right leg back coming into a plank position. Keep your plank as still as you can. Bend your left leg in, press it out, bend the right leg in, press it back out. Left leg in, out, right leg in, and out. 
keep going like that. Alternatively, you could go back to your tabletop and just reach one leg straight back and pull it in, right? So you don't have both knees lifted at the same time. And in and out, in and out. One more time each way. And then you can bring your legs in Whew, one at a time. It's <sighs> a good one. Okay, we'll do that just at like quadruple time. So it's just gonna be a quick in, out, in, out. Again, if that's not working for you today, just go back to the one leg out and in from the tabletop position. <sighs> okay, tabletop, the legs back one at a time. And then keeping everything else still, you're gonna mountain climb in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, bring it in. Sit back, give your wrist a little rest. Whew. And those counts. Hard on these. Okay, next one is a variation of jackrabbit on the reformer which is exactly what we were just doing. Just you're moving your, your legs um, in synch synchronicity, <laughs> in a synchronized way. Um, if that's not happening today, you could be tabletop and just lift your knees, set them down, lift and set them down. You could try a little out and in with your legs from that. I feel like it's a little harder when you keep it that tight in. But let's give Jackrabbit a try. So step your legs back to plank. One at a time. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, knees up. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, knees up. Try to keep your shoulders stacked over the wrists. Pull in from the low belly. Reach out from the glutes. And out. Pull it in. Press it out. You've got three. Out. Two. Out. And one. Out. Bring your knees in one at a time. job guys <sighs> I'm like sweaty really sweaty white shirt was a bad choice today pretty bad choice okay I want to give um core and wrist a quick little break before we do a little more plank work a little more core work so let's just give your towels a little break as well and we'll do a standing stretch series so I think I have enough space here. Let's walk your legs out, maybe about a leg's length. And then you're gonna pivot to your left to take a lunge. So turn all 10 toes to the left. Make sure you're not on a tight rope. And then from there, start to bend your front leg, come into a deep lunge. You can hang out here and maybe adjust that you have your hands on the furniture or hands on a wall. If it's comfortable, you could bring your hands to the floor. You want to keep that right glute active. So you're actively extending the hip of your straight leg. You don't have to bounce. I like to bounce because it just makes me feel stretchier. <laughs> then from there, start to straighten both legs. Reach both heels down, coming into a pyramid stretch or pyramid pose. <clears throat> Let's do it again. Bend the front leg, slide the back leg back. Lunge. And then straighten both legs, hinge your hips up and back for your pyramid stretch. Let's do that one more time. Bend your front leg, back leg back into your low lunge or your furniture lunge. Straighten your legs out, reaching your heels to the floor in your pyramid pose, big hamstring stretch. Oh, that's so tight. Oh, and then you can walk your hands to the center of your feet just to face the front direction and then come up right. Whew. All right, let's do the other side. Legs out about a leg's length. Pivot to your right. Again, make sure you're not on the tightrope. And then bend into the front leg, find your lunge. Again, maybe supporting with hands on furniture or hands on wall, or you can come into your low lunge, keeping that back leg glute really firm, knee straight, and then straighten both legs out, come into your pyramid pose, reaching both heels to the floor. 
let's do it again. Bend the front leg, back leg straight back. Reaching back through that back heel. And then straighten both legs, reach both heels to the floor. One more time like that. Bend the front leg, back leg back. And then one last pyramid, straighten both legs, reach both heels to the floor. Oh. Oh, walk back to center, take a stretch in the middle. So it's kind of like proserita or wide-legged forward fold. You've got your legs wide and you're just draping your torso down to the floor between them. Oh. Big breath in, exhale to roll up or you can Give her shoulders a little roll out at the top. I get my hair out of my face. We'll do a little more plank work. <clears throat> Towels back under in. I'm about to, but it might feel nice your pull. Okay, so we'll do a little um, ad, adduction, abduction. So in your plank, you'll just be moving your legs out and in like that. Um, yeah, that's okay on your knees, mom. My mom's doing this on the other side of the camera if I didn't already say. Okay, so stretch your legs back into plank one at a time. Start with your feet close. Open your legs, squeeze them together. Open, squeeze together. Open, squeeze together. Squeezing from the inner thighs, pressing them out from the side of your butt, your abductors. Three, two, one. Bring your knees in one at a time. Whew, sit up, little wrist break. Ah, oh, I know. Um, okay, so the next one is, it's hard. It's really hard. It's gonna, I'll show you from the front and then I'll give you a variation if this is just like not happening today. So you move your leg out one at a time. I'm gonna slide it out, bend it in, reach it out, bring it to center. If that looks horrendous from your tabletop, you'll slide one leg back, open, in, bring it in. So it's the same movement. You just have the additional work of just reaching your leg straight out. Okay. Stretch legs back to plank one at a time. Let's start on the left leg. Open, pull your knee to your elbow, reach it out, bring it in. Open, knee to elbow, reach it out, bring it in. Open, knee to elbow, reach it out, bring it in. Right leg open, knee to elbow. Right leg out, bring it in. Left leg open, knee to elbow. Left leg back, bring it in. Right leg open, knee to elbow, reach it out, bring it in. One more time. In, out, center, out, elbow, out, center. Whew. Walk your knees in. Oh boy. Little wrist roll out. Getting my heart rate up. I know, majorly. Majorly. Okay. We're going to try some pikes just for fun, which they look like this. You keep your legs straight, you pike your butt up to the sky and like literally enter any amount that you can from your plank. You could always go, right? Just a little butt hike. That's still awesome work for your core. If that's not happening, you can go back to your mountain climbers, just in and out, slow or fast. So let's try for like six pikes here. Legs out if they're not already. Exhale, lift, pike the legs up, press them out. Exhale, lift, press the legs up. Exhale, lift, press them up. Four, three, two, one, bring your knees in, Whew. one at a time, ah, sit up, nice little wrist release, ah, all good, 
So there were little hills. My mom's like, I didn't get a pike. I just got little hills, little mountains. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if she's still on here. Hey, Deanna. Um, I'm still here. Wait, are you still here? Maybe she checked out. Deanna's gone too. Huh? Deanna's gone too. Who else checked out? Uh, Haley. She said her computer was about to die. I wonder if it was too hard. Wait, I don't want to record. <laughs>